3 over 1, or square root of 3 over 2. Yes, question? So we want to know our unit circle and take a look at it and see, all right, well, when is x the square root of 3 over 2? Well, if you have your unit circle, hopefully, very quickly, you guys um, can remember that oh, this coordinate point is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, right? And that angle is pi over 3. Now, to find another angle, remember, remember, you're finding the answers between 0 and 2 pi. Jacob, 0 and 2 pi is basically going around the unit circle once. So all I need to do is if I know, I need to find a, another angle that has this exact same coordinate point where y is going to be square root of 3 over 2. The easiest way I like to do it is using my reference angles. This point is just a direct reflection across the y-axis. This point is negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Do you guys see how the y-coordinate is still positive square root of 3 over 2? Now we just need to figure out what this point is. You should know the first quadrant, so that's why you should know this point. The next one, if we know halfway around the circle is 3 pi over 3, and we're a pi over 3 short, therefore we're at 2 pi over 3. So the answer to this problem is x equals pi over 3, and x equals 2 pi over 3. That's how to find all the answers between 0 and 2 pi. Because all the answers down here, the sign value, the y coordinate would now be negative. negative. So therefore, it wouldn't be a solution, right? Because we're only dealing with the positive. Does that make sense? OK, okay so that's it. Done. Um, now the next one is um, finding all the solutions. When finding all the solutions, it's a little bit different because we have our two solutions. You still do the same thing. We have, all of, we have our two solutions, but now we want to find all of them, like not just between 0 and 2 pi, but we want to find all the coterminal angles. So you've got to remember what makes coterminal angles. If here's one solution, a coterminal angle is an angle that has the same initial and terminal side. And if you guys remember, when we first started trig, what we said is to find coterminal angles, you add or subtract 2 pi, or add and subtract 360. So basically, if I go around one more time, do you guys see how that red angle has the exact same initial and terminal side as my angle pi over 3? Right? So how do, how do you find what that angle is? Well, all you had to do was add 2 pi. Right? And can I keep on adding 2 pi? Yeah, you can keep on adding 2 pi. And you can add 2 pi infinite many times to get the same initial and terminal side. That's why we say it's plus 2 pi n. We can do the exact same thing for the green angle, or for my second angle, which is 2 pi over 3, plus 2 pi n. OK? Um, now the next portion I'm going to give you guys. So on your quiz, you guys will have two.